I was star of the world famous Judy Latour. You may recognize this guy from the show's That's Why Jam on NBC or The Tonight Show star Jimmy Fallon. It's Jimmy Fallon. Oh, hey there. You made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure that you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guy. Totally. And the greatest drive. Boy. Now, these movie posters represent just a fraction of the over 8,000 movies that we made here in our over 100 years on this land. You might recognize quite a few of these, whether the classics up here like uh, Showboat or The Wolfman with Lon Chaney, or today's action blockbusters further on down the hill. Now, none of these movies would have happened if it weren't for one band, me. No, I'm joking. Our founder, Carl Ledley, founded Universal City a few years later on March 15, 1915. Now, the whole reason of why we were a company before a city is the first one on our tour, stage 12. While we're the left-hand side as we round the corner, that is over 90 years old and 29,000 square feet. Massive space. Some pretty famous movies have been filmed in there. That is where they built Frankenstein's lab in Frankenstein, 1931. It's where the mansion in Scarface, the clock tower back in the future, visitor center in Jurassic Park. The town of Whoville, how the Grinch stole Christmas, the next year he sees Aaron Couples and Tree were all built over the years. Some of my favorite movies of all time have also been made on the inside of Sound Stage 14. Back in 1982, a classic scary movie called The John Carpenter's The Fame with Kurt Russell was made in here. Now that movie takes place in an Arctic environment. They pumped in so much air conditioning inside that building, you could see the actor's breath as if they were outside the snow. Now, Ted is standing in front of some pretty cool buildings. These bungalows on the left-hand side used to be dressing rooms for Hollywood's biggest stars. People like Doris Day, Rock Hudson, Jimmy Stewart, Lucille Ball. Office spaces for some of the top writers, directors, and production companies in the business. Companies like Seven Bucks to the left-hand side, that's Dwayne Johnson's office, that's his production company. Right next to them is Monkey Paul Productions, that's Jordan Peele's production company. He's the man that brought three movies so far from Get Out Us and Nope. Excited to see what else happens out of that office. Little alleyway branching off the left hand side leads to Mark Platt Productions. He creates musicals all over the world. He created Wicked on Broadway and is turning that into two movies for Universal Studios. And a pretty famous office on the left hand side, number 5195, once belonged to the incomparable Sir Alfred Hitchcock. The Metropolitan sets up here on the left hand side are currently closed because American Ninja Warrior is setting up their obstacle course. This is where they filmed the Los Angeles qualifiers. They might have some of the uh, obstacle course built up. You can see some of the pieces over there to the left, but most of it is going to be on the other side, down that road there. You can see a lot of it is already built. It's going to start all the way down there. You're sailing to a lost island, you're encountering monsters and creatures from, you know, prehistoric. Keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle. And I should also mention, no flash photography, all right? You can take pictures and videos to turn off your flash. We don't want to scare the animals. Welcome to the home of King Kong, Skull Island.
<laughs> One of the largest and most intense 3D experiences on the planet. That attraction we saw is projected on movie screens about three times as large as IMAX screens. All that hard work and technology to bring King Kong himself to life. Magna P.I.'s Ferrari is actually a Volkswagen built to look like a Ferrari. It's one of the stunt cars. Some pretty famous Back to the Future cars, including the flying ones from Part 2. They dropped into the future as the year of 2015. To the Flintstones of John Goodman and Rick Moranis. Flying car from Harry Potter. We have over a dozen of that picture car. They all look different though, ranging from pristine to post swamping Lily. From Jurassic World, it's not missing the glass bubble. That was all done digitally because if we use a real glass bubble, all of the reflections would be in the camera and crew. She all remain seated for me. I know it's difficult to see, but if y'all fall out, I get fired. And I actually like this job. So please remain seated. Now we also have some pretty big picture cars on this road. You have this double RV looking vehicle on the left. That is the mobile lab that you saw in the Lost World Jurassic Park with Jeff Goldblum, Jillian Moore, and Vince Vaughn. Just like the tank we saw earlier, this too is made mostly out of wood. Not only to make it easier to move around, but easier to push off a cliff like they did in this scene. Take a look. making a movie or television show, you want your set to be as quiet as possible. That's so you can hear your actor's voice. We're not recording any actors out there today. We don't need to worry about being quiet. That also means we can add our sound effects of thunder right here to set. Now the lightning we see is a big strobe light above our heads. It's pretty easy to do. And there's not a whole lot of sunlight out, so we'll go sleep. But we still need rain, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and activate our rain effects. Just like that, you're gonna have a rainy day. Now we get our rain by using a super high-tech, sophisticated system called sprinklers. That's all it is. As long as it's above what the camera sees, which is pretty natural. The raindrops are what are different. They're about three times the size of a natural raindrop. That's so the camera can see it a lot better. Our eyes can pick up so much more than a camera lens, right? So you need to put out a whole bunch of water, the raindrops have to be big, and you need to light it a whole bunch more as well. The issue is with all the natural rain we've been having, we're under a flash flood block, so we cannot have this running for too long, otherwise we uh, run the risk of that happening. Hold your breath. Whoa. Don't worry, y'all, not an actual flash flood. There's a result of thousands of gallons of water for your laser dying tanks. Just like they did in this scene in movie Big Fat Liar, all of the Amani Band of Vines and Frank and Nina, starring Jack Black. This is also the Fire City of Tortuga at Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, with Johnny Depp from Orlando Bloom. Reuse the same exact corner of Universal Studios, but we won't recognize it because they'll change it, redecorate it. You might recognize what we're pulling into, though. We're going to go back yeah. over the border from it's Old okay. Mexico to the Old West. This is six points. These are some of the oldest movie sets in Hollywood, and it looks remarkably similar to the way that Quentin Tarantino had it for his movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, with Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. Leo had great scenes inside that saloon there and all over this area. If you've seen the movie, anytime they're on the Western movie set, it was all right here in Six Points. This is where Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, the Invisible Man all filmed. You, Eleanor Shellstrom, are dead. Cool. This location. The afterlife? Come on. I've never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. So this main cafe that you see them, that is directly in front of us, right behind me. You'll see it on the left-hand side when we pull forward. It has these two blue doors. None of the original signage is still around, but the building looks remarkably similar. We're just going to the bad place? Okay, well, maybe it's not all that bad. <laughs> What is the bad place like? I love the good place. I absolutely adore it. I think y'all should check it out. It is four seasons of a completed show. It is not canceled. It was just like a book. Your Genovian Princess Diaries 2, Royal Engagement. That was also a Parisian cafe, the Muppets movie. That's where Kermit and Miss Piggy sit down at a cafe. Oh, Yeah, yeah, we're here about the uh, human remains. That's him. Yeah, for Bones, this was Washington, D.C. They have since redecorated it to be San Francisco. 
I can tell because it says welcome to San Francisco. I also believe this takes place in the 1990s because I've seen pay phones and newspapers like folders. So this is pretty much before cell phones and maybe before the internet. Right? So kind of gives you context clues. Movies and television shows want to show you things. the guy in charge is my buddy George, he's a police officer out here. I'm going to ask him to open up the beach for us. Just remain seated for the meantime. And stay on the water. Don't, don't, don't go in the water. That is a massive shark. Don't, don't go in there. Where's George? That's his boat. He's in the water. George! George. George! George! You, you okay? George! Oh. No, he's, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, we're going to park next to these gasoline barrels. This is the safest place to be, according to me. No one, I definitely read it. Um, okay, we have Bane attached to the yellow barrel, but it's like the whole dog. It was attached to. Okay. That's a very big fish. Okay. Oh. That is Colonial Street. It's currently closed as they strike the set of a movie that's been using it for the past few months. Strike is the process of when they take down what they have added to our set. Mindy Cooper belongs to Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean on holiday. That's Dominic Toretto's Black Tom's Charger front and center. The orange shoelace is one with the ejecto seat too fast too furious. And then yellow and black Camaro behind that one. I know it looks a lot like Bumblebee. That's because it's Bumblebee for the Transformers franchise. Alfred Hitchcock's Pit Driller, Cider. We all go a little mad sometimes. Now, the motel that we see is actually from the sequel, Psycho 2. Welcome to the massive 747 grass site from Steven Spielberg's War of the World, starring Tom Cruise, Dakota Fanning, and Justin Chow. Of all the big stuff we've seen today, that airplane is a real 747. Here's production designer Rick Carter and director Steven Spielberg talking about this set. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision of Steven. You sit down to talk about the world. That thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? There's often in the hundreds work together to take an impossible notion and bring it to life. Over there, look into the winking well and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Sheriff. 
That's what this whole place is loosely based on. A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. What's a bad miracle? It's like, see that giant blue wall on the other side? Some of the biggest movies ever made at Universal Studios have been made at that giant blue wall. We call that Falls Lake.